Okay, the pre-market movers in the US? Well, well um, these things are often coincidental, but we look at two uh, pharmaceutical companies, both of which are in, engaged in trying to create drugs for uh, eye disorders. The first one is Erie Pharmaceuticals, uh, A-E-R-I, the ticker there. They were up 50.7 pre-market. Um, the news basically was that the FDA has allowed them to make modifications to the dosage of an anti-eye pressure drug called Repressor, um, and that's been perceived to be uh, particularly good news. Whereas their rival Avalanche Bio, AAVL, or their peer perhaps Avalanche Bio, I should say, are down 48%. And the reason for that, uh, quite straightforward, um, they had a poor phase 2A test results on their anti-macular degeneration drug. Um, so equal and opposite, basically. Yeah, and that you know, just, just shows you what a sort of a binary thing yeah. uh, the, the drug development business can be. And in terms of um, levels to watch today, obviously European equities easier this morning. Um, so we're now at 66.50 on the downside in the FTSE, plays 67.10 uh, to the upside. For the DAX, I've gone with 10,800, uh, plays 10,940. Interestingly, low, bo both of these markets have bounced off the lows as uh, we approached uh, lunchtime. For the S&P, I've got 2072 plays 2091 uh, in there at the moment. That's a bit of a tighter range. And for the Dow, 17,690 plays 17,850. But the, the S&P seems to have outperformed a little there compared to the other I th benchmarks. Yeah, I think especially the Europeans, obviously. But yeah, it's I think it's a, a bit, bit more, bit more of a resilient index, and you know, a bit, a bit more in, 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 introspective, if you like, rather than so external. Um, Plus, of course, it's, a, it's an index of 500 stocks as opposed to the others, which are 130 and 30, mm. respectively. Um, in terms of the currencies, uh, the euro is better again. 112.26 now, our downside level to watch, and 112.95 to the upside. Uh, surprising how well the euro has held up given the shenanigans or, or, and lack of events in Greece. Um, Aussie dollar, US dollar, 77.30 plays 77.55, so we've managed to tighten that one up since yesterday. Same sort of story in dollar yen, 123.30 now uh, is our downside level, plays 123.80. Um, yen weakness seems to have been put on pause again for the moment. And in cable, uh, 155.44 is our downside level, playing a slightly better 156.20 on the upside. Okay, Darren Sinden, market commentator, Admiral Markets, thank you for your contribution to the Wall Street cross crossover show. I think you've done most of it really, haven't you? Um, and uh, we'll be back uh, again uh, this time tomorrow.